This is Barbara Ellistad with Mesquite Citizen Journal, and we're at the Mesquite Fine Arts Gallery for the annual Artists and Poet Poets Art Show that's going on all this month of March. And as always, it is spectacular. And we have with, our, with us today our guide, Linda Foss, who is a Mesquite Citizen Journal feature news reporter. And she's going to do our um, little tour. And there's two aspects to this show that I'll let her explain. Um, go ahead, Linda. Thanks, Barbara. Thanks for being here, too. Uh, this is one of our favorite shows of the year, but then we love all of our shows. <laughs> I know. It's hard to pick a favorite, you know. <laughs> but the nice thing about artists and poets is that we have a chance to showcase both writers and visual artists in this show because we ask uh, poets throughout the area to submit poems to us late in the prior year then give our artists the chance to select from those submitted poems to do their artwork. Yes. So we don't have just 40 entries here, we have 80 entries. Uh, one by the artist, one by the poet, and uh, they compete as teams. So right now we're looking at a painting called Summertime by Dina Millican, and Dina is one of our new members. Uh, she has chosen to do a beautiful, uh, very calm landscape, and she has done this to a poem named The Touch of His Hand by Shirley Riley. It's a lovely scene, and the ob object of each pairing is for the artist to bring out the best in that poem and express it in the artwork. And that's what I find so fascinating about this particular art show is to see how the artist depicted the writer. And it's quite interesting when yes, you read the poems yes, and then is. look at the, the art piece. While you focus on the artwork by Shauna Lee called Through the Fog, I'm going to read this very short poem by Mary Bradshaw. Mary says, Wisps of crawling fog meander along the coast, playfully taunting. And the poem was written in December. So then the artist goes through all the poems that are selected or all submitted and picks a poem to create an art piece for. Yes. yes. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's what's the objective here. Yeah. And so that poem is meant to be the inspiration for the artwork. Yes. And, and that, that is so an well. excellent example of this show itself. I think so, too. And Mary is a lovely poet. Um, she has submitted a number of poems that we will see along the way, and um, I would expect that at least one of hers will be chosen among the winners here because <laughs> she has been uh, represented in artwork by many, many good artists here. Okay. Our next uh, painting is Forces by Susan Collier. We have a young man uh, sitting um, maybe for a photograph or a portrait in front of a rushing waterfall. And this um, was painted to the inspiration found in a poem named Hope by Satya Morty. And some of these take a good reading of the poem before you understand why you're looking at that photo. Mm -hmm. But it does say there, love needs company to grow and to mature. So maybe this is a loved one where yeah. uh, uh, a person is taking that photo of the gentleman. Oh, or nice. Or painting the, uh, from a photo of the gentleman. And here's my favorite photo artist. Okay, that would be Midge Galliazzi. Yes. She is showing here the ghost of Raymond Town, and her inspiration came from Gary Christians uh, from St. George uh, from a poem by the same name. Uh, Gary comes to us yearly. He brings some great poetry, and many of them speak of days gone by, and Midge has certainly picked up the character of his poem in her photos. This is a cute picture. Oh, Boots Nelson, one of my favorite <laughs> artists. He's one of our cowboy artists. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if that's him and his horse, but uh, he has um, 
um, painted to a poem called Swap an Air by Don Sims. And you may remember that Don Sims is one of our local cowboy poets who yes. is, is always very well represented by his work here in the Artisan Poets. In fact, last year his poem was chosen as um, People's Choice, yes. with, along with the artwork by Corrine Martin. I remember that. Mm -hmm. The Cattleman, again, Boots Nelson. What a nice ranch scene. Boots is from Wyoming. He comes down here as a snowbird in the wintertime. And he has um, injected his <laughs> cattleman and horse and, uh, onto the clouds I was, above his beautiful ranch. I was going to comment on that because when I first glanced at this before we started our video, I, I looked at the art piece very quickly and then I just about snapped my head off looking at it the second time. Is that a horse and cowboy I see in the clouds? That's, an or, uh, and that's it a is. horse and cowboy and this poem yes. is brought to us, uh, the Cattleman poem is brought to us by Hap Stewart. Uh, Hap appears yearly in the uh, western roundup of cowboy poets here in Mesquite and he's always a good contributor to our gallery. Yeah, these are really, really fun. Sunset Storm is another work by Shauna Lee. Uh, Shauna's one of our new members who has just jumped in with both feet. She is uh, showing beautiful artwork. She has been so active in um, helping with our events here at the gallery. And she has painted this to a poem called A Missing Part by Marilyn Ball. Uh, this poem does describe the seashore and that's what Shauna is picking up in her her beautiful painting. Mm -hmm. This is a fun piece for a musician. Oh boy, anything by Judith Heaton is just about good for anybody. Yes. <laughs> her beautifully done violin is um, named Harmony and it's set against a backdrop of sheet music. Um, beautiful technical qualities as well as aesthetics and she again has uh, painted to the work by Mary Bradshaw a poem named Harmony and in Mary's poetry each of her lines starts with the letter in the word Harmony. Oh yeah. H-A-R-M-O-N-Y. Ah. Very cleverly done and yeah. a, a lovely little poem. This is Another head snapper. <laughs> it is. Here's one that would cause you to think about um, a social situation. And uh, You can read a lot into this piece yes, of art. Yes, you can. You sure can. Because it looks like probably a homeless person. The painting is called Wildfire. It's done by Cindy Pickup. And, uh, Cindy is new to the gallery here as well. And she has painted to uh, a poem by Lynn Floyd, who again comes to us from St. George. Lynn is well known for her columns that she writes in some of the local newspapers and is a very fine poem, a poet. So um, this is a great combination. Mm-hmm. This is a pretty one. My horse, my dog, and me. Diana Kunrat reflects the exact name of a poem by Don Sims. And the two of them have not only teamed up here in the gallery, but they have also appeared on stage together in one of the early um, cowboy poetry, uh, poetry hoot nannies. So uh, it's always nice to see these folks uh, yeah. team up again. That was very nice. Well, this is cute. What a sweet little dog, yeah. Shorter, by Susan Collier. And the poem is brought to us by Mary Catherine. It's, uh, I'm sorry, the poem is named Mary Catherine, and it's brought to us by a man who's known as Bus. That is his uh, pseudonym. Okay. Or, uh, nom de plume. Okay. Um, that isn't his real name, obviously, but uh, he always likes to sign his poetry bus. And um, he is longing for something that he sees in the ocean here, which is what Susan is bringing us. Yeah. 